Hello all, in this video we are going to learn about a very important concept in Google Cloud Networking that is a shared VPC. So in this video we will see what is a shared VPC, what is host project, what is service project, how to create shared VPC in Google Cloud, how to attach a service project to the host project shared VPC and what are the different permissions and roles required to create a shared VPC and we will try to create one VM instance in a shared VPC. So before starting this, we'll just uh, see what is a shared VPC. So just take an example as an architect, I'm working on designing the application in Google Cloud and just take the first architecture here. I have mentioned architecture one. So I'm creating a single virtual private cloud and I'm creating some virtual machine for my application as a web server. Then I'm creating few more virtual machine and I'm deploying my database or installing my database servers on that uh, virtual machine. And in the same project, I am having my GKE application or App Engine and I am using the cloud logging and cloud monitoring. Now this is a standard process we follow when we are learning a Google Cloud or where we are doing the hands-on on a Google Cloud. But when we work as an organization, this is not a standard practice to create a Google Cloud architecture. Here what will happen? So suppose we have different different teams. So suppose we have networking team, we have database team, then we have application team so we have to give access to each team so if we are creating everything in a single project we have to give access to everyone to this project so the networking team can access the resources related to database and database team can access the resources related to a virtual private cloud and even though suppose if we have multiple projects then each project we have to create a different vpc so that is not a feasible architecture or not a best practice for architecture. So what is a best practice when we are creating the Google Cloud architecture for a organization. So I'll show you the architecture tool now. So here just take an example here. What I'm doing here I'm creating one project as a network project and I'm creating all resources related to networking in that project. So you could see I'm creating the VPC here. I'm creating the firewall rules in this network project. I'm creating the VPN or internet all resources related to network in a network project. Then I'm creating one more project, compute project and here I'm creating all compute resources like my application servers, my GKE or my app engine and I'm sharing the VPC created in the network project. So I'm not creating any VPC in my compute project. So I'm just using the VPC created in the network project because that is a shared VPC and this VPC is shared across multiple service projects. Now similarly for database as well, I will create separate project for database and there I will create the virtual machine for database or I will create my spanner instance or I will create my cloud SQL instance and again I will create one separate project for monitoring. So all these projects will send logs through the log router for logging and monitoring into this separate monitoring project. Now why this is easier for organization and the best practice, so what will happen, so if I want to assign a role to the networking team, I will assign role only into this network project. For application team, I will just assign required role into this compute project and for database team, I will assign role only to this database project and suppose I have any L1 team or any monitoring team, I will assign role into this monitoring project only. So this is a best practice. For this, we have to create a VPC in network project and we have to share that VPC across other projects. So in which project we have a shared VPC that is called a host project which is hosting my shared VPC and other project which are using this shared VPC are called as a service project. Okay, so that is a base concept of the shared VPC. We will create this shared VPC host project and service project in cloud console as well but before that we will see some technical aspect of a shared VPC. So this shared VPC allows organization to connect resources from multiple projects to a common VPC. The same we see here. So it's allowing multiple projects to connect to the shared VPC in the host project. Okay. So when you use a shared VPC, you designate a project as a host project and attach one or more other service projects. So again, I'll go back here. So you could see this will be my host project and attached project are called as service project. Okay. So the VPC networks in the host project are called a shared VPC network and eligible resources from service project can use subnet in the shared VPC network. So to implement a security based practices of least privilege for network administration, auditing and access control, this is a useful. So as I mentioned, it is 
useful when you have to apply a security based practices on your google cloud design so this is very important so now what i will do i will go to my cloud console i'll try to create a host project i'll try to create a shared vpc and on a first try what i will do i'll just try to create it with the default permission and i'll get some error and then i will assign a required role to my id and then i'll try to create so what will happen we'll understand what are the different roles and permission required to create a shared vpc so let's go to the cloud console